time. Uh, but I will teach you one of my favorite uh, dish that I do for Passover. I think it's your favorite too if you ever had it. All right, it is called burikas. What we needed for this item is potatoes. We had onion. We have parsley. I like to use ginger, but you don't have to add it all the time. And of course, spices, paprika and cumin, garlic, fresh egg, and matzah. First thing I do before I even start is I cook the potatoes. I have to cook them in, in salty water until they are ready and and soft. I usually cook them with the peel and then I cool them out by pouring it out, the water out, and adding cold water. I let it sit on the side and then my next first step that I have to do is prepare prepare the matzah. As you know, matzahs are very hard and need to be softened. And how do I soften the matzah? Very easily. We take the matzah from here. I'll take two matzahs for this time. One. I'll get a better one here. And two. My favorite matzah for this project is matzot aviv because for some reason they they work better what I do is I run run them under the water in every direction try to make sure that they are soaking in every spot and then I let them sit For about five minutes before I do it again. While they are sitting and waiting, I will start preparing the rest of the ingredients. First I do is I chop the onion. For this uh, purpose here, I'm using a quarter of an onion. I like sweet onion. And as you can see, I chop it very, very small. Which I will later saute in a pan. garlic that's how I like to smash the garlic see the peel comes out really quickly and again I chop that too very small and as I told you before I love ginger so I add some ginger to this. And I'll chop it together again with the garlic. This way the garlic itself gets a little bit more chopping. Move that to the side. Let 
one side here and I'll do the parsley again chop very small Now that we chopped the onions, the parsley, the garlic, and ginger, time for a little sauteing. It's time for sauteing the onion and some of the uh, ingredients too. Since I'm using very small amount, I'm making very small amount, I would use a smaller frying pan. If I had a bigger amount, I would use a much bigger uh, frying pan. Here we go. Before I do that, I'm looking at the matzahs, and I see that they are soft, but not soft enough. To be able to tell if they are soft enough, they will have to fold or be a little more flexible. So I'll give it another rinse. As you can see, one more time under the water. And back on the rack to dry. When they're ready, they will, when they're ready, they will start folding on their own. Right now, I'm letting them dry. And you want to do it that they are straight up like this as opposed to flat. This way, the excess water will fall off and the matzah will not be too soft. All right, turning on the fire on medium high. And letting the oil heat up. A trick that I use to find out if the oil is, is high enough is I move it around. When it feels that it moves really fast and easily, that means the oil is ready. See how quickly it moves now, like water. That means the oil is hot enough. Let me sprinkle some salt. Size and here I go with the onion. Now it's ready. When well, you hear the little, little noise that the onion makes when it's getting fried. I don't want it to cook too much. I just want it to sweat. A little bit of sweat for maybe, just before it changes color. At the same time, while it's happening, we're gonna peel the potato. I'll take one potato for this time. Now that it is cooked, it's very easy to peel. You just scratch the outside and you can see the peel comes off very easily. Garbage little basket next to the sink. 
As I go, I always clean. And now, I'm checking on my onion. You see, it's starting to change color. Very nicely. Time to add the garlic and ginger. go back to the potato we just cooked. I will cut it in half. Here we go. We cut it to small squares. Put it in a bowl. Make it a lot easier. And now I'll add to it. You want a big and strong fork, or if you have a potato masher, that's very good too. And I mash the potato easily like that. In the bowl. together with the parsley. Nicely done. All mashed. Now, time for bringing some flavor. Of course, we have to add some salt. That's how much I use. Again, precise measurements. That was like maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. Some paprika. Some cumin. And a raw egg. Yeah. 
ข้าวกระจีอันนี้เป็นข้าวเล็กจิ้งจืดขุดดาวน์เลยรู้เอาเองกันOne, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, m o r i c a s Here we go. Let me check on the oil. We are ready to start frying. I like to use a calendar, as you can see, and a bowl. For if there's a little excess of oil, it will go through the calendar to the bowl. Then I like to use metal. I want to take one of those and. Using the tongs, dump it in the oil. Now, if you have a bigger frying pan, it will you it will have room for more. I will take it one at a time, so we can see the process. About 45 seconds each side. We'll do it. You can see the matzah is starting to change color. Uh, 
Acá va a quedar el atomán. Okay. Okay, you see, there's a little oil that accumulates inside. So you want to pick it up and drain it from the corners and then transfer it to the calendar. Looks like I have room for two. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, the color has changed, and when not, not only the color changes, the matzah gets hard. Look how beautiful that looks. It's a little golden, and you can hear me knocking on the matzah, and it's actually hard. Sometimes a piece will break. No worry, still tastes good. Look how beautiful. Thank you. 